Hi, I'm Denshi, and this is Instant OS, or Instant OS. It's a Manjaro-based distribution, obviously, well, based on Manjaro and by extension Arch, that recently released their first beta, I think, like a couple of uh, days ago, like around a day ago, I think it was. Uh, they posted it all over Reddit, of course. Well, I, th I don't think it's they. There's only really one person that works on it. Um, there's they got a GitHub page. It's all you know up, and you can download this. You can install it. It it, it claims to basically be a version of Manjaro that's been heavily modified to be as suckless, not really as suckless, but as quote unquote minimalist less bloated as possible in an in an effort to basically bring less bloated software to the masses because you can just you get in here you already got a little window manager you got like i think this is i3 i don't know nothing about window managers about this little drop down menu over here it's currently installing as you can see and it's made by a person called paper benny now let's address the biggest thing the biggest argument when talking about this distribution and it's the fact that it claims to be less bloated and such now according to their github site i think it's uh, on reddit and such they said it's around 130 to 140 megabytes of ram used idle now that for a distro based off Manjaro, I guess that's kind of impressive. The thing is, is that I'm confused why Paper Benny, which I assume is the main developer, I mean, that's what the GitHub is under, decided to, to set this operating system to be based off Manjaro. So to base this off Manjaro. I mean, it makes development easier, most certainly, most of this OS. This OS really is just dot .files, like it, it's, it's just uh, an i3 config or whatever. I think, no, it's not i3, I know it's not i3, it's a certain, I think it's Simple Window Manager, SWM, I believe. Uh, there's a different, there's a specific window manager that is being used here, but whatever it is, this is basically just a config for that, at least from what I can see. And there's this claim, if you click through the little thing, obviously, here. Everything just works. Wi-Fi, brightness, volume. I'm, I'm, I'm confused about this. I mean, most of that is done by Manjaro, isn't it? This distro obviously adds things like this. Obviously, this little in desktop environment. Not really. It's a window manager. It adds, you know, a bunch of cool things like the terminal, for example. If you open up the terminal, it's custom configured. Well, obviously, here we got our, you know, gaps. Um, we got a terminal, and you can type in stuff like, I don't know, they have Yaorch pre-installed, so you can type in Yay, and it updates your system. So, uh, I mean, that's pretty good. I love Yay. It's a really good uh, package manager. CD, it will make it green, showing me that it's a real command. Uh, there's that. It's Z ZSH, as you can see, but if you click here, uh, I think it's like you gotta like slide tainted TMUX. Apart from that, there's a bunch of other programs here. It is recommended to launch applications, so I think it on top corner instead. Okay, so you gotta open this separate menu. So what's the point of having this this thing then, if you're supposed to go and click here. I mean, it is a beta though. Anyway, so there's just like um, some network configuring stuff. Firefox is pre-installed. This uses both a uh, mouse and, I'll just open up a completely new window. That's what's cool about window managers that let you do that. Um, well, pretty much everything lets you do. There's HTOP, that's pretty cool. Uh, NeoVim, there's Icon Browser, whatever that is. There's Quantum, so you can theme it, okay. Uh, there seems to be some remnants of XFCE here, like there's, you know, Quantum and there's also you know, uh, about XFC over there, so that's that's pretty, you know, specific. Um, apart from that, I mean, everything here seems pretty normal. There's some other, there's, you see, there's Ranger, URXVT, so there's there's loads of options for terminal stuff. There's MPV, that's pretty good, uh, Conkey, there's the Android icon for the settings, so that's pretty stolen. Um, but apart from that, you know, everything seems pretty, you know, traditional. It's just some kind of, it's like a rice or something. It's a, it's just some kind of window manager configuration stuck on top of Manjaro and packaged as a distro. And I think that's great. Like, I think it's excellent that people go and make a new distro that is supposed to be less bloated and has all this stuff pre-configured. But at the same time, I could just get Manjaro i3 or Manjaro with a certain window manager or, you know, install Arch and then install the window manager. Like, I don't know, install Arch, right? With like an easy, one of those automatic Arch install things. Not really automatic, but like it makes the process easier. Download like LARBs or something so I can automatically do all of the stuff that's done here. Anyway, as you can see, the installation is done. So let's go over to, well, the Kimu thing. We can go and check it out. So as you can see, it literally is just Manjaro, which literally is just Arch. Okay, so it, it weirdly took a long time for this to boot up, like a peculiar amount of time. Let me just uh, zoom into this so you can see it a little better. Here we are with Instant DOS. Everything seems to be installed. Um, 
if you, as you can see here, this little May Super Control Space brings up a smart app menu. So let's try that. Well, I did it. Nothing really. Oh, there it is. Obviously, this is running slow because it's on a virtual machine, but it's pretty much the same programs. There's a bunch of pre-installed stuff. I don't understand why some of this stuff is pre-installed. There's some missing icons as well, but you know, understandable. It's a beta. I don't know what this power management thing is. What's that? Oh, I see. It's like it's XFCE stuff. I believe this is based off Manjaro. You know, just like. Or either Architect or Majaro XFCE, then obviously with this window manager. What I really, really want to see is the, the, the RAM usage. So that's kind of the entire point of this thing. So, okay, so as you can see, the memory being used at the moment, it seems to live up to, you know, its expectations. 149 megabytes, which isn't far off the 140 and 130 claimed on the GitHub and Reddit and stuff. So that's that's pretty accurate, the, the average memory usage. And I guess if you really want a very, very simple, not simple, but like a very, very light uh, window manager config for Manjaro, I guess you could go with this distro. But on one side, I'm for this because when I was getting into Linux, GNU slash Linux, um, what would there be is you would install Manjaro and you're like, oh, look at all these rices. I have no idea how to do that. I have no idea even how to run a script. I have, I have no idea how to do any of this. So if I would have, I don't even know how, I don't even know how to start getting a new desktop environment. So I guess maybe in the beginning for new users, it'd be useful to have just an automatically configured Manjaro installation with this, you know, window manager over here. You know, this, I think it's simple window manager. I'm definitely getting that wrong, but you know, it's got mouse functionality it's got you know all your keyboard stuff that you'd normally find um, you know it it's it's a good distro what I'm confused by is two things the branding and a little bit of the purpose so the branding first of all because in the installation it says stuff like it all just works but I haven't really seen any explanation as to what that really means are there pre-installed proprietary drivers well Manjaro has that too and it's especially useful for Wi-Fi stuff and such I don't know I just feel incredibly mixed about this distro uh, I, I'd have to try on real hardware and there's one last thing however i really want to take a look at in this distro because if you watch their trailer that was posted about this on reddit and on youtube and all that stuff you'll see that uh, one of the promoted aspects is the fact that gaming is good on it i mean being based off manjaro or anything arch means that obviously you can install wine you can install the xvk and you can install well, steam that does all that for you and you can uh, play all your windows well not all of them but like i think it's over seven six thousand windows uh, native games and apparently, since this has a more minimalist, less bloated window manager, it performs well. And in theory, that makes sense. I mean, as you saw before, if we go to, you know, page top over here, and we check the memory usage, it's 147 megabytes, obviously very, very little. So my question, however, is what about, <laughs> I mean, I'd love to test that out. I'd love to test out this distro and install it on like a partition on my computer and then, you know, obviously install the drivers that I need. The problem is I have no idea how to configure NVIDIA stuff on laptops, you know, the Optimus technology with anything but KDE, XFCE, or GNOME. So somebody actually asked that question on Reddit, on the Reddit post they made of this, some other user. And uh, there hasn't really been an answer yet, so that's nice. As soon as that gets added or, you know, that gets appended or, you know, they just tell me, oh, it just works out of the box because the entire point of this sister is that everything works. So, I mean, that should also work. You should have an automatic thing that you can automatically set your entire system to run on the NVIDIA graphics card, which is literally the entire point of the script that I made to do it. So, I mean, if you really, if this distro really wants to live up to the everything works straight out of the box mentality, then that's one of the main things to add, because that's like one of the main things that Arch doesn't really have going for it, at least with Manjaro and Arch itself, is those weird graphics card configs and stuff, and some other driver stuff, but like, it's mostly the graphics cards on laptops that's really annoying, so if this fixes that, then that's pretty good. I mean, apart from that, I wouldn't really compare performance on virtual machines, and until something is said about the NVIDIA Optimus drivers, I don't plan on doing the gaming performance tests, although, you know, in theory, this should perform better. I hope so. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short little look at this distro instant OS. Obviously, this is version 1.0, still in beta, apparently. So, you know, don't go switch to it right now. It's, it's I gotta say, as a final conclusion, I like the idea. It's pretty good. 
I don't understand why there isn't just a script to install this on regular Manjaro, but, you know, I guess it makes sense to have a distro like this. I mean, the more distros, the better. I'm not saying this distro doesn't have a reason to exist. Many distros have a reason to exist. There's very few that don't. And, um, yeah, it's a cool little thing. I hope it goes farther. I hope it achieves that goal of having everything work straight out of the box, especially with NVIDIA stuff, because that's the most annoying part about installing Manjaro. Kind of lack to see the point in some places, like, why is it based off Manjaro? Why not based it off Arch? Why not make it, you know, its own thing? But I guess it's kind of hard as an independent developer. Uh, but, you know, just mixed feelings. It's too early to tell. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.